Hey y'all. Would y'all like to know how weird I am? <laughs> you probably already know that if you've been following my channel for any length of time. And I do appreciate all of you subscribers. I truly, truly, truly do. And if you're visible on my subscription list, then I do subscribe back. I mean, that's the right thing to do, right? I gotta admit, sometimes when I um, subscribe to a channel and they don't trying to get my hair up because I have got to I'm going to be driving in the wind here in a second um, I admit sometimes when I subscribe to a channel and they don't subscribe back <clears throat> it just kind of makes me feel you know like eh, you know like oh, okay you're too you're too good or too big of a channel to subscribe back to me you know and then you just feel like they don't care about <clears throat> you know returning the favor or helping to boost a smaller channel they're just all about oh maybe i should do a whole video about that but i do if you're visible on my you know on that I'm still I'm still in the learning process really but um, if you're visible on when I go to my YouTube studio and you know how you can see your subscriber list if you are visible there I do go and look at your channel if, if you have any content um, as long as it's not like inappropriate content then I do subscribe back <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, you guys know, let me see if I can get something on my lips here. Oh, I was just, I gotta sanitize my hands because I just was messing with the trash can. Um, <clears throat> I've got to get the lunch stuff for the daycare kids today. I love this stuff. It smells so freaking good. It's this uh, strawberry pound cake. I, yeah, Bath and, Bath and Body Works. Oh my god, this stuff smells so good. <clears throat> well, I don't <clears throat> have anything for my lips in here that I can see. Yes, I do. I got stuck down in there. Anyways, I'm trying to tell you guys how weird I am. So, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. <clears throat> so, I have a lot of stuff to do, right? Like, all the time I have a lot to do. Especially now with the moving and I'll be so glad when I'm done with this um, And so far I've been doing it by myself You know and It's just it's a lot <laughs> You know, but <clears throat> I have a, on actual moving day, I do have some help, so, but, um, so with all, all of this, let's see, where am I going to go today to get the groceries? Okay. Um, so that's a pretty house. They've been, I've been watching this house go up over here. It's really nice very pretty um dream of focus that if you haven't seen my previous videos that's called riding the ramps 
you know, the exit ramps, the on and off ramps from the interstate. That's called riding the ramps to get on and off. Anyway, one of my ex-boyfriends taught me that phrase. It's so true for me. Sometimes I remember what I was talking about and sometimes I don't. <laughs> a pink Jeep. I would, I, I, that would, I would absolutely love that. That's one of the, I just passed a pink Jeep. I didn't just blurt out pink Jeep. <laughs> okay, anyway, so back to my weirdness. I'm getting a taste of that right now. But when it comes to how I get everything done, I can't think of it as, oh my God, I've got to get all of this done. I can't look at it or think of it in bulk. I can't do that. It will make me crazy. It will depress me. It will give me anxiety attacks. <laughs> I won't be able to breathe. Even thinking about that makes my chest hurt. So, I, I literally do, sometimes, I will make a list, depending on what all it is. I will make a list. Alright, I need to do this, 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 and that way I don't forget anything, and I can cross it off, and I feel like I've been productive, and that, I know that thing is done. Now, with everything that I'm doing now, I'm not making a list, it's just a matter of, am I going to Aldi, or, no, hmm, I don't know, you know, I'll have to decide that once I get a little closer. Anyway, so right now I'm not making a list because I know what I'm doing is just, it's packing stuff, unpacking stuff. And it's, it's a little difficult because there's things that I, I still need to use on a daily basis. There's things that I need to keep out for the daycare kids. I'm really, I really kind of messed myself up because I should have given myself a week without the daycare kids to, um, before moving. So I'd have more time for packing. I'm just going to have to double down on that this week and, um, get things done. But I just, like this morning, I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, I had stuff I had to bring in from the car. Because I re I reused the stuff for my teapots. And I, because I have more teapots to pack. So, you know, and I had, I had to get, I have to get the daycare kids their food. And um, I've got more packing to do. And if, it, if I just let all of that simmer, it, just, it will make me absolutely insane. Um, so, this morning, what I have to do is literally, like, put myself on, like, for real, on autopilot. All right, Dreamer. Let's do this task. Let's, don't think of anything else right now. The only task in front of you is get the stuff out of the car. Okay. So, that was, I tunnel focused on that. Okay, stuff got in the house. Okay, now you've got to get all the trash out of the car. Did that. Alright. What's next? Well, I know I've got a lot of packing to do. I know I've got to take the trash can out to the curb today. I know I've got to get the daycare kids food. Okay. I can't let all that mix and simmer together. All right, what do I need to do first? What do I want to get out of the way? This. Let's get the stuff. Take care of kids' lunches and snacks for the week. Get back home. It's almost 11.30. All right, get back home. Because it is going to rain today, too. And I don't want to be out in, in it if I can help it. So, right now I'm tunnel focused. I'm going to get 
take that test done. Um, when this task is done, um, then I'll worry about, okay, put that stuff away. All right, let's open a box, fill it, and I'll keep doing that. So right now, I'm just telling myself, I'm just focusing, all right, let's just do it, let's just autopilot, let's just go up here, get what I need for the kids, get home, and put it away. And then I might take a little break, you know. I should have gotten something to drink. Not fasting this morning because feel like I ate too much yesterday. Um, like I said, I had put some, some of my weight back on in the last couple of weeks and last few weeks. And I'm really upset about that. Um, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. But I also know it'll come right back off because I'm so busy and I think some of it was, I know last night, when I got home last night, I was feeling a bit depressed. Just, I really don't need to tell y'all why. I mean, it's just the whole thing, the whole moving into my mom's house, packing up all the work I've got ahead of me. That's what I mean when I say it will drive me crazy. So, I went and got some snacks, spent money I didn't want to spend, so I'm mad about that, um, in getting those snacks, you know, and then there's always that regret, like, dang, that money could have gone on a bill or something, oh, I'm so mad, anyway, so what I did was get snacks, and I, and they were just loaded with sodium, and I just... Oh, I was feeling it last night, man. I felt my blood pressure, guys. Right? So, I was like, oh. It was like, it was, I put on my show that I like to watch, and I was eating my snacks and kind of just zoning out a bit, you know, into, into my show, and I know, I know why I did it, and it's because, you know, it's the whole, I said, moving into my mom's house, and it's just all very weird, and, you know, it's like, gosh, she's really, she's really gone, you know, it's like, we're kind of still in that chaos of settling and it's it's just you know it's like you go into her house and you half expect her to be there you know and she's not and it was the same way when my dad passed. I uh, I went back to my dad's house one time after he passed, and that was for his funeral. And I walked into his house. He was remarried, so we weren't we weren't feeling welcome anymore. And oh wait, no, I'm not going to Dollar Tree. I mean, I'm not going to, to uh, see, I got distracted. Anyways, so, um, I walked back, I walked into my dad's house, and then, you know, I have expected to see him sitting there in his chair, and he was not. And I knew he would not be. And even though in your mind, you know, 
know they're gone, but you still walk in to their home expecting to see them, expecting that hug. <sighs> and when it doesn't happen, your brain is like trying to put it all together, even though logically you know there's part of yourself that is has a real tough time with it, you know. And I know 99% of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about because you've been through it. And for those that have not lost a parent or is someone close to you like that? It happens to all of us. And... It, it is just something you... You know is coming one day. But you always have that like... Someday. You know. One day. I know it will happen. But then that day actually shows up. And it is, it sucks. And you're not prepared. There's no way you can prepare yourself for it at all. Like even though I kept hearing from my sister the dot, you know, and, and, and my mom, you know, that she was dying. The doctors were saying weeks to months or whatever, and I was just, I wasn't just not hearing it, you know, didn't, didn't want to accept it. I gotta fix this doorknob. Um, I just did not want to accept it. One of the piece it rains while I'm in there. I just did not want to accept it. And I figured she'd go home on hospice and have more time. And she did not have more. She, she barely, she just had a few days. I did not know that that Friday night that I stayed with her at the hospital and that Saturday would be my last time being with her in person. I just... I mean, I went to her house to you know, help her get settled and stuff, but I didn't... When I left that day, my mom, I, you know, I was like, I'm so sorry, I gotta go. She said, I know... You need to get home before it starts getting dark. She understood that. Because I can't drive at night. Anyways, that's not what this video was supposed to be about. But you never know where this ramp's going to take you. But. I'm just telling you guys. I know why I've gained some weight back. I know why. It's just, I, I mean, like, literally eating my feelings. And I gotta stop. I gotta stop because I'm gonna end up hating myself more.